Okay, it's uh, Wednesday the 19th. We're setting up the uh, greenhouse to put the uh, bees out. Gene's putting in the habitats. You can see we got the plants. Um, and we have uh, three different sources of pollen here. We have sugar water. If the bees need the nutrition. We just watered the plants. And we also are putting uh, mud. We're uh, one dripping some mud here, but we also have some... Where's our mud? Uh, uh, we have mud there. Is this mud? Okay. Yeah, we have mud here. And uh, we're about to bring the bees out. They're, of course, they're still, uh, because it's cold, they're still uh, dormant. And they're, uh, we're going to put them in the tubes and let them out. And, of course, we have the camera here where we can actually visually observe during the day and night what's going on. And Jim, you're showing 51 um, degree. I believe that's ambient temperature right yeah, now. Yeah, that's 51. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, so I think we're all set up, and I've sealed off all the openings that were left. Um, so let's uh, get the bees. And we received 265 cocoons several days ago from Steve Peterson's farm in California. Uh, they're in very good condition, and uh, Jim. Kahit and I have set up the uh, mm -hmm. environment in Jim's backyard greenhouse. We're now prepared to put the cocoons, and there are a few live bees right now that are in this storage container, which I've been keeping in my bee refrigerator, formerly a wine refrigerator. Uh, and so what we decided to do was try to evenly place as many into these three uh, dispersion tubes as we can fit. But we are going to order some more to make sure we have enough cocoons for a good experiment. You, you want a funnel? And, well, we're, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Probably do it this way. But you can kind of see a... Here, here's a funnel. Here's a, a makeshift funnel. Look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's figured out the best way to do yeah. this, which is using a funnel. Well, we're going to put yeah. approximately 60 to 80 cocoons in each tube, as best as eye shot can estimate. Okay, that's one. Mm -hmm. And we'll close that. I'll make sure everyone sees that uh, as the cocoons open, and the bees become active, they'll emerge from the tube. And if we have set up the study and experiment correctly, they will immediately go to, first of all, <laughs> procreating, mating, and go to their food and uh, mud sources. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to put hopefully an equal amount of cocoons in the second tube. Okay, very good. That's always a problem with funnels. And we'll close this one, number two. And we'll go to the third one. Just a couple in there. All right, and we'll do that one. Just to show you how that's going in there. Now, there's a few extra here. And then I think we'll just kind of and there's one coming out right there, so yeah. get them in there. Now you'll see, it doesn't take long for these little guys and gals to get very warm. active. So they're going to be coming out of this tube very fast. And hopefully before that hit has to leave, he's going to see them emerging from the tube. So at this point, we're going to take them to the setting that we have set up in this backyard. We have three tubes. Uh, Jim on it and I uh, have placed the tubes that now contain hopefully equally amount of uh, Blue Orchard Bee cocoons. As you can see we've set up our uh, experimental inside greenhouse uh, environment and just quickly most important thing is that bees of any type they need good environment they need uh, nutrients so this is set up so that you have 
uh, nutrients from flowers. Uh, blue orchard bees need mud to build their nests, so we have a mud environment right here. They have water. Sure water. Pure water. And with on its help, we've uh, developed kind of a, a buffet <laughs> of pollen. On it, would you kindly explain what the different pollen samples are? These are uh, natural honeybee pol pollen, uh, fresh pollen we dried and grinded. And these are artificial uh, protein source for honeybees or other bees maybe, but mostly we use for honeybees. So they are powder version. And oh, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you. To, uh, yeah. I want to show show you right now. Several of the bees are already Emerging. coming out. Yeah. And they're warm. Yeah. And they're warming up. Yes. And the temperature is, uh, you can see, 52. And so the this general statement is, blue orchard bees uh, start uh, warming up at around 55. So somewhere 50, 55, and you can see they're coming out. Sorry to have interrupted you yeah, on your explanation okay. of the pollen, but this is so important uh, as uh, as part of our uh, design of our experiment. So yeah, we are expecting if they cannot find a pollen source inside of this uh, greenhouse, they can utilize this kind of protein source as a pollen source. So these are sugar syrup, uh, fifty percent uh, sugar volume, fifty percent uh, water, and this is just uh, even you know, clean water. And this is mud. So, and so we have another. We one, have another one coming which out Which is here. Uh, emerging from the third tube. So, we've had A B so far emerge from each of the tubes. Yes, so far, so true, good. Yes. Yeah. By the way, what's the date today? Today's the nineteenth. So today is the nineteenth, and the experiment officially got, got going. It's uh, approximately eight a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So at this point we want to have nature take its course and we'll be carefully monitoring it and uh, we're going I think we've all agreed the three of us have agreed to uh, order some additional cocoons yes and we're going to expand this control outside condition yes outside condition so we'll have an A and B uh, for the study Okay.